Hi, I'm John the Engineer Termel, and this was the 8th Occupy Toronto March, the second one I've done to the Bank of Canada. And yeah, the uh, Occupy Toronto movement may have fizzled out because they had no goals, didn't know what they wanted, but I'm still there because I know what I want, the Argentine solution. So remember, quitters never win, winners never quit. All right, now you're going to be quizzed at the end. All right? I'm paying attention. All right. Okay, I'm not a protest obstructor. I'm a protest instructor. I got something to offer. In 2001, Argentina was broke. Did you hear about that? 2006, they paid off all their foreign debt. How'd they do that? Um, well, the something un... sensible. The union said, you're not going to lay us off because you got no money. We'll take small denomination provincial yep. bonds that we can use to Invest pay in our province. HTML, hydropower, taxes, medical and Infrastructure license. such. So, Social safety net? So everybody took the bonds yep. in, the, in the provinces. Yep. They didn't lay anybody off. Yep. They hired more people. Uh -huh. They paid off all their debt in five years. Uh -huh. And I want to do it too. So the question yes. is, would you take part of your pay or a raise in your pay in Ontario provincial bonds you can use to pay your hydro, taxes, medical, and licenses with? That's the quiz? Yeah. Would I personally? Yeah. Personally, I can speak for myself, and I would say absolutely. Good girl. Thanks a lot. Watch yeah, it on YouTube man. tonight or tomorrow. Okay. All right? Thank Just you. look for Popper Party. Just keep going. Are you guys coming to the march today? Nathan Phillips Square, baby. Can I interview you for a minute? Pardon? Can I interview you guys for a minute? Uh, Come to touch closer. Right? I'm going to give you a question here. This guy I'm running for Prime Minister of the Planet. <laughs> if you YouTube the Prime Minister of the Planet, I come up. Right. Boy! Popper 2012! In 2001, Popper 2012. Argentina was broke. 2006, all foreign debt paid off. Didn't make the news. How'd they do that? Well, the union said, you're broke to the government. Instead of laying us off, we'll take small denomination provincial bonds we can use to pay our HTML, hydropower, taxes, medical, and licenses. Well, everybody in the provinces took the provincial bonds, they didn't lay anybody off, they hired more people, and they paid off all their foreign debt in five years from being broke by using provincial bonds. So, would you take a paycheck or an increase in pay with provincial Ontario bonds you can use to pay your HTML with. From the information you told me, yes. But... Good boy. That's what we're trying to point out. Right. That there's an alternate source of currency out there so the government doesn't have to go borrow from banks, spend it, tax it out with interest when they can print their own small denomination bonds, pay us, tax them out, no interest. So good answer. Put you on YouTube tonight. All Look right. for Popper Party at okay. YouTube. That's popper like Prince of the Pop. We're poor guys, but we we don't not ashamed because we know the game is stacked. Definitely. All right. Monopoly game's over. The one percent won already. Well, listen. When the ninety-nine percent start our own underground bank, the one percent are going to have to come and get a job. <laughs> okay. That's, True. That's right. I'm the banking systems engineer. If you Google, I'm the only one on the planet, and I want to run money like poker chips with our labor as the collateral. So imagine a PayPal Canada, Bank of Canada, you log on, open an account, borrow new government of Canada chips and pay off all your mortgages and student loans and bank debts. And after that, all your payments go against principal. And someday you're out of debt. So that's how interest-free banking works. That's how it's supposed to work. 32 years I've been fighting for it and we're almost there. So you go to on.popperparty.ca. Okay? I will. See what I we're doing. It. That's it. Gotta You'll be up on money. YouTube tonight. Good. All right, Keep my playing. new song, Child of Us. Oh, could be my last one. It's freezing out here. <laughs>
know, two weeks ago there were thousands of people here. You know, where'd they all go? They're still here. No. Oh, where's the march? It's... Last right. week we were three of us. We Tonight marched to the Bank of Canada. All. all night town hall. Skating. Three of us to the Bank of Canada last time. All. We Dancing marched. Phillips. In 2001, Argentina was broke. I know. 2006, all their foreign debt paid off. I know. Ah, how'd they do that? Pass. Well, the union said, don't lay us off, pay us with small denomination bonds, provincial bonds. Provincial bonds. We can use to pay our HTML, hydropower taxes, medical and licenses. Everybody in the provinces took them. Nobody laid off. More jobs. All debt paid off. Five years, we can do it too. So, si, si, would you take an increase in pay or a job paid with Ontario provincial bonds? Job, a job yeah, paid with buddy. Ontario provincial bonds. Wow. You can I pay would. your HTML. Oh, There's another one. YouTube tonight, popper party. Yeah. What's All your right. name? Ezra. Thank you, Ezra. Good boy. The Argentine solution is the solution. That's it. The Ar I haven't even mentioned it. You're the, the Argentine first today. steak is Good the steak. Good boy. The argument of the rugby is the rugby. Oh, Put your hands all the way through the way. One, two, three, three. I'm posting your YouTube all over. Pardon? I'm posting your stuff all over Retweet. Facebook. Good boy, you're going to get paid. Repost. Hey, oh, go repost. to the new popper party. Okay, we're starting a new website. Is it a new party? Yes! All right. We got tax credits. Are we going to have fun? Are you going to see the airline jobs? What? Don't get me the picture. You're gonna save Air Canada's union guys? Of course they can get paid everybody. With provincial bonds everybody. Too. We'll lend them all everyone. they need. Everyone. So they everyone. don't need to go to banks everyone. no more. Everyone. Hey, everyone. when the 99% are running our own underground time bank, the 1% are gonna have to get a job. Oh, no, you did You did it all right. For a minute. Please get an interview. Here's a story. In 2001, and I'll ask you the question. In 2001, Argentina was broke. In 2006, they paid off all their debt, foreign debt. How'd they do that? If I give you a piece of paper, you can pay your taxes, your hydro, your licenses, and medical with, will you take it? Or will you stay unemployed? That's right. So, that's a new source of paychecks, small denomination bonds. So she said she'd rather work if given the choice of being unemployed or working for Ontario provincial bonds she can use to pay her taxes, hydro, medical, and licenses. Can I interview you guys? Question on economics. Good question. Come on, be bold. Be bold. Get over here. Be bold. Look at this. My God. Come on, for God's yeah. sake, Talk be bold. Care, I'm just going to ask you a question. Do you want a job? <laughs> Would you take this for pay? She did. She wasn't scared. <laughs> No matador singing for these boys, eh? Hey, Craig. I guess they get a different song as they skedaddle at the back of the arena. Enter the Dragon's Den. Come and do an interview. I was on Dragon's Den. Come here. Let me ask you a question on economics. You don't know very well. Very outgoing on this show. Did he miss his chance, eh? Someday they're going to time those notes, you know? Fastest. That's 
my fastest. Fastest four degree fingers can't, in the world. Can't go faster than that. Oh, I can do three notes, bro. John does one. Triplets. Do you play Stuart Hammond on uh, accordion? to do this. And I can do yeah, triplets! for the march. We're going anyway. Okay. Yay. Pack up time, go stow it, then we go for the march. Hi, we're here at St. James Park and basically Argentina was broke in 2001. All their debt paid off in 2006. They did that by the unions accepting small denomination provincial bonds they could use for hydro, taxes, medical licenses. So, would you take a pay increase in provincial bonds? Nobody's going to say no to that. Oh, well, that's all I need because that's a global solution. And that's why for you two, for so, Prime Minister of the Planet, I come up. Okay, so the question is, I don't know whether you're still shooting this. It yes, says, go. It sounds uh, perfect, and I don't know why people aren't doing it. And well, it's been done in Argentina, but... I mean, now, everywhere, nobody's even talking about it here. Well, that's because the bankers control the politicians, and they don't want the politicians running their own banking system. But why don't the union leaders say something? I mean, nobody well, said it. The whole of Occupy Toronto, nobody said one smart thing. Well, you met the first guy, and I'm uh, still here. Okay. Well, I'm it. <laughs> I've been here every Saturday since the start. Okay. And I protested the Bank of Canada in the earlys every Thursday with 22% interest rates when yeah. they busted millions of families, lost yeah. their homes. Yeah, and uh, you remember that? I well, I was protesting the Bank of Canada and marching to Parliament every Thursday for five years. Okay. So when this started, I said, wonderful. I'm going to come and tell the kids about the Argentine solution. Maybe the kids don't, they don't get it. You'd be surprised. You got uh, it, they do no, too. No, I saw them being interviewed. They had a global... No, no, no. But they, no, I saw them being interviewed and having nothing to say. Yeah, but you'd have had nothing to say, but now you've heard about Argentine bonds. No, I heard what I did here in terms of the whole thing. I heard there was a bunch of... Um, uh, business students in France who are in economic they're studying economics and yeah in, you know they're in a very um, the master's program in economics and they figured wait a minute we're not being taught properly they're, okay we're not being taught uh, history of economics we're not being taught solutions in, in economics and they said okay we're gonna start changing something so that okay, did they now, change they, anything no they just started, well they just started last year they I know but Argentina Dennis Kucinich in the United States has a bill to yeah. end the Fed and substitute treasury notes, just like Argentina. Okay. Well, so it's coming, it's coming. Right, and well. if people like you say, I'm willing to take a piece of paper I can pay my hydro taxes, medical and licenses with, <laughs> well, more people are going to listen. Oh. So you just YouTube for Popper Party, because we're poor, but we're not ashamed because we know it's a stacked deck. Oh. And YouTube for Popper Party in a couple of days and watch the video. Thanks for having the right answer. Bye. Okay, what is this now? The sixth? Is this the sixth weekend? Yep. Yeah, we were here October the 15th, 22nd, 29th. So we're only four in November for sure. Yeah, this is the eighth time. Eighth time we're here. Can I ask you a question? 
No, two calls a day. Well, that's too bad. We're looking for people with it. All right, well, let's go. Okay. Occupied Toronto, I'm it. <laughs> hey, is that all that's left? In 2001, Argentina was broke. In 2006, all their foreign debt paid off. How'd they do that? The union said, don't lay us off. We'll take small denomination provincial bonds we can use for our HTML, hydro, taxes, medical, and licenses. Everybody in the provinces took the bonds. Nobody got laid off. They hired more people. All debt paid off in five years. That's called the Argentine solution. And that's why I'm still here every Saturday. Because I got. We should do that? We should do the same thing. So just go to YouTube, look for Popper Party. <laughs> we're, we're poor, but we know the deck is stacked, so we're not ashamed. <laughs> and basically, yeah, we want to have the time. It's like a PayPal at the Bank of Canada. You log on, you pay all your mortgages and interest bearing debts, and after that, all payments are going to be its principal at the Bank of Canada because they got new chips. Okay? So, if you're only paying against principal, eventually every debt gets paid off. It's only the damn usury keeps debts going forever. <laughs> so my question is, rather than be laid off, would you take a raise in small denomination Ontario provincial bonds you can use to pay your hydro, taxes, medical, and licenses with? <laughs> huh? Sounds like a great idea. Thank Sounds you. Like You'll be on YouTube tonight. What's okay. your name? Thanks. Uh, Pam and Nick. Okay, watch YouTube tonight. Thanks for the right answer. That was pretty good. Yeah. Hi there, can I ask you a question? I got two minutes? One? Okay, I'm John Turmel. I'm a politician. In 2001, Argentina was broke. So, rather than be laid off, if you take a raise in provincial bonds, Ontario bonds, you can pay your hydro, taxes, medical, and licenses. What's your name? Charlie. Psych, Charlie. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Bye. Thank you. Have a good day. Trusting. <laughs> no, you want to have a raise in your pension? No. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Sure. 2001, Argentina was broke. In 2006, all their debt paid off. So, before you get laid off or go on strike, would you take a raise in Ontario provincial bonds? Good girl. What's your name? Raquel. Raquel, thanks. <laughs> YouTube tonight. Look for Popper Party. Okay. <laughs> Interest free loans at the Bank of Canada. Good idea. I'm an engineer. I can reprogram the computer. There you go. Oh, you your Good luck. Thank Take you.
Rest three rolls to the bank of Canada. Good idea.